Hi everybody, I'm Roy Falk and welcome to part 2 of setting up a small public vanilla Minecraft server. In this video we're going to talk about how we will go about to spawn players that n join the server for the first time right here at the spot where I'm standing now. We have after all set this up as our world uh, spawn point. But unfortunately it doesn't work like that with vanilla. Uh, with vanilla Minecraft um, that you will not have your players spawn at exactly this spot. The way it works is the vanilla Minecraft server will randomly spawn players anywhere within or just outside the spawn protection area. Now you'll know that in your server.property file that's in your server Minecraft folder there's a line that says spawn dash protection equals 16 that's the default setting anyway and what happens is when a new uh, player joins they get spawned anywhere just inside or just outside that spawn protection area now if you remember in my previous video um, I've actually set the spawn protection area to 160 which makes our problem even bigger now what that means is that uh, players will be spawned when they join the server the first time anywhere in this area up to the edges of how far we can see and maybe even a little bit further away which means those players when they join the server might not even see the spawn building and that's a huge problem so what we really want to achieve is when a player joins the server for the first time we want to teleport that player back to our spawn point which is just down there now in the next uh, part we're going to talk about how we will go about to achieve that it's not hard to teleport players from anywhere on the map back here to where we set our server spawn point the difficult part is to know which players to teleport now we only want to teleport a player the very first time they join the server after that we want them not to be teleported when they join again now i've looked at a lot of different ways of doing that and i found it initially very challenging to come up with a solution i started to look um, at the scoreboard command um, and the scoreboard command is really set up to support um, games where you have teams that play against each other and you can set up different color teams and initially I looked at a dummy variable and other ways of flagging a player uh, to know whether it's the first time they come on the server or not but I just couldn't get my head around it I just find it too complicated in the end what I decided to do is to set it up in such a way that a player will be teleported to spawn if they don't belong to a team so the so the whole idea is that when a player joined the first time they will not belong to a team um, I would set up a, a command block command that's going to look for players that does not belong to a team and those players will be teleported to spawn now to explain that we're going to head down to the secret room and I'll show you how I've set up the command blocks to do that. In the previous video, I showed you the secret room. So let's just head down there. Right, and this is the secret room. Now, um, this is the command block that I use to teleport non-team members back to spawn. Now you remember I showed you previously uh, in part one how to set up a hopper clock and you can see how I can run more uh, command blocks off this one hopper clock right so let's just look at the command so if we look at this command this is teleport at A which means all players there's two conditions the first is that the player should belong to no team so the command is team equals and then nothing basically not even a space just a comma 
so this will target a player that doesn't belong to any team the next condition is that the radius of the player should be more than 15 blocks so it's only going to teleport a player that's more than 15 blocks away from this command block we don't want to teleport any players that's in the building already that's close to the command block because once we've teleported the player from further away into the building we want to give that player the opportunity to pick a team and then the player will be able to leave this, this spawn building and we would look at that part later so this is essentially is just a simple command that says teleport all players that doesn't belong to any team that is further away than 15 blocks to this particular coordinates when I set this up the first time what I simply did is to teleport players that does not belong to a team uh, to the spawn point um, the, the, the uh, world's spawn point which is over here but I soon realized that there was another gap in my plan what would typically happen is I will get a new player that joins they will be teleported to spawn they will then run out there and get killed and because they haven't yet set their own spawn point they haven't yet slept in a bed so their own spawn point was not set yet they would then randomly spawn in any area around the spawn protection area or in the spawn protection area so the first time they join the server they'll end up here but then they'll kind of get lost there and they'll struggle to find their way back to the spawn what's worse is if it's night they will be killed by um, mobs out there again and again and again because they won't be able to get back safely to the spawn building so I had to modify my plans a little bit what I did is instead of sending the players to the spawn point I first send them to a little one by one room one by one by three room and in that I basically dropped them on top of a command block actually three command blocks and I'll show you where it is it's down here so if we again look at that command it actually teleports them not to that spawn point up there but to this area here and I'll just open this up to show you right so there's three command blocks here and what essentially happens I'll just open it up completely to show you what happens is I will teleport them from anywhere out there to this position here and they will drop on top of this command block now what does this command block do this command block set the spawn point for the player to where I want the actual spawn point to be which is up in the room where I showed you before so the player will have their spawn point so if they do get killed and they haven't yet slept in a bed or they haven't yet set their own spawn point this will actually set this spawn point as soon as they join the server so just to run through that again so the player joins the server they get teleported over here they drop on this block but that's not good enough once we have the spawn point set we want to uh, teleport them now to the actual spawn point which is up there which I showed you before I'll just clear that weather and I thought a nice touch would be to also give them a welcome message and tell them what's happening so in this message I say to the player whatever their name is welcome to our server 
Please remember, you have to join a team before you are allowed to leave spawn. And that's how it works. So they get, the player gets teleported here, their spawn is set, they get a little welcome message, and then they get teleported. Hi Enderman. They get teleported over here. And that's how it works. Right, in the next section, I'm going to talk to you about how a player will pick a team and how I create the teams and how that part of the process works. There was one thing I forgot to mention. When you teleport players to a place like this, you can use the round numbers. Let me explain. You can say teleport at player 104 Six nine minus two six three, which will actually teleport the player to to the corner of this because it doesn't actually put the player right in the middle. Now there's a little problem um, if you don't use these decimal points. What will very likely happen is that the player might actually be teleported. When, when you teleport them to this little room first, they might well be teleported into the wall. So just be really careful and test it yourself and do go into survival and test it and make sure you don't actually teleport the player into the wall and determine the exact location. And you can determine it by if you stand right in the middle of a block and you press F3, you'll see that the X, Y, Z coordinates is actually has decimal points. So you'd use the number 0.5 at the end, just to be sure that you don't actually teleport a player into the wall. That's quite important. Now that you know how I get the player to the spawn building, and if they die, teleport them back to the spawn building, now we need to look at how we allow the player actually to pick their own team. Now before we can actually get them to pick teams, we need to actually create teams. Now I've set up three command blocks for that purpose and I'll just open it up and that's for each team. And I only need to do this once. So if you look at the first command block, you'll see the command. It's scoreboard teams at aqua aqua team. So what it actually does, it creates a team and it uses the variable aqua and it uses the name aqua team. So that will create the team that will create the first team and we, we want to create about eight teams or you know however many teams you like to create once we create the team the repeater sent the command through and it activates the next two blocks now the next command is scoreboard teams option aqua friendly fire false now what that means is that members in the same team will not be able to hurt each other directly. So you won't be able to hurt each other with a sword or with an arrow. But you might hurt uh, members of the same team by indirect means like fire and potions and things like that as far as I know. The other command that's also associated with this is scoreboard teams options aqua color aqua so i'm actually using the color aqua which exists in minecraft to color this team aqua so that so that will actually be the color now i've done that same three command blocks for all the other teams so we have black we have blue gold green 
red, white, and yellow. Now let's head upstairs and I'll show you how I make it possible for the different players that comes in on the server the first time to pick their own teams. Now let's start with the aqua team. So I, I make it really simple. I have some instructions here that tell people they can join a team. And then I have signs up that says, you know, which team is which color. So if you come over here, you'll see that I've created two command blocks here. The first command block, execute this command. It says scoreboard teams join aqua at player. So the closest player, the player that steps on this pressure plate, will then join the aqua team. Now the second command block that gets activated is simply saying to the player you've joined the aqua team. Now to show you this, if I type in test, I've added myself just to the grey team which is not a team that exists on any of these normal player teams. But if I were to go over here and I activate this, it says you joined the aqua team. So if I now go and I say test, it comes up on aqua. And the same with black. Or red. And I can change teams anytime I like. One other important thing that I have to mention is you'll see I used pressure plates. Initially I had uh, some buttons here and I soon realized that if somebody is not an opted player they can't open chests and they can't operate buttons. They can't operate wooden doors. So a, a player that's not opted and is in the spawn protect area c cannot activate any of those things. The only thing they can activate is a pressure plate. So that's why I use pressure plates here because that makes it possible for players to to change teams and activate these command blocks. Otherwise they simply wouldn't be able to to activate these command blocks. Thank you very much for watching this video part two and if you have any questions you're quite welcome to put the questions in the comment section I'll try to answer all your questions I must admit I'm not good with command blocks and I've had, a, uh, had to go and look at other people's YouTube channels and, and try to figure out how it works and I had to read about it and I'm sure if you guys look at this you'll use this and you'll actually just build on top of this and come up with much better ways of doing this so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time Bye.